It may not be the drink, but that's a bloody good tea. Hey guys, continuing my retro review of Supernatural episodes, we are on to Bloody Mary, and I don't know if I'm a little weirded out here, but this episode is near perfect. Now, it might be just because the idea of the brothers talking to each other about what is actually going on between the two is so rare, distant, and non-existent in the show now, that might be why I'm liking this episode as much as I am right now, but let me go through it. Bloody Mary is obviously their take on the urban legend, and it has a really cool twist to the idea, because at the beginning of the show, there is these girls who are playing around when they say Bloody Mary, but in the end, the girl who said it, her father's eyes are liquefied and there's a huge pool of blood in the room. The brothers come to the town and as the episode progresses, other people start to die. But it's not just people who say it, it's people who are around that are saying it. It turns out it was a woman who was having an affair with a married man. And she was killed before she could actually reveal what was going on. She talked about it in a journal and somehow through her grief and being killed the way she is she's locked to this mirror and she starts to take vengeance on people who have dark secrets and are possibly related to someone dying and that is activated whenever someone or they or someone they know near them say bloody mary now the reason why i like this episode so much is that the brothers are talking about an issue and that is sam's nightmares and his guilt that is what this episode is mainly focused on we see that they're trying to figure out going through all the research and everything of who bloody mary was that was cool there's even this really cool cop who they had who was there for like two minutes i actually like the actor but it's mainly about sam's guilt with jessica and the whole time we're kind of wondering why is that being repeated so much in this episode and it turns out that he uses himself his own guilt against bloody mary to call her out and to try and oust her because this is a first prelude into sam's powers is that we find out when he is confronted by himself his evil self in the mirror while he's dying that he had dreams about jessica dying that exact same way days before it happened and this is something that he still can't bring himself to tell Dean, but Dean is mad that Sam is having nightmares, that he's calling out her name, and he says, you got to talk about this, because this is just eating you up inside. And it's a part that just, they're driving, and he pulls off to the side, and he just chastises his brother for not telling him what's going on. And this is something that the show has completely forgotten completely how many aspects of season 8 9 10 and even well, not so much 11 but really the last uh, the last four seasons excluding 11 that issues were caused by the brothers not telling each other hell that was season 4 entirely so this is something that i like to see that these guys are so fucking stubborn that they would actually maybe talk to each other about what was going on like actual character development ah. but something else that also this episode is really cool for is how the bloody mary thing works it's a simple camera trick but it's people seeing themselves in the mirror and all of a sudden their other self just goes stone cold dead uh, blood starts dripping for their eyes and they start ousting them for what they did that was guilty when sam is being ousted by his evil self that is one of the coolest parts of the episode and one of my favorite shots ever in supernatural is when dean comes and just smashes that window how they did that shot was really cool this episode is also heavily inspired by rings obviously or the ring because how bloody mary comes out of the mirror afterwards that was straight out of freaking the ring and then how they defeat her by using the mirror against her, that was sweet too. 
So the horror element, this was actually a scary episode in terms of how people are killed. The idea of seeing their themselves tell themselves that they're guilty of their issue. Sam's whole confrontation with himself. And then when Bloody Mary comes out of the freaking mirror, that was terrifying. This is also a really well shot episode. The characterization of the two brothers is really cool. The mythos that it starts to build up with what Sam's got going on is really cool. And just, I liked almost everything everything about this episode the only thing i can say that i didn't like was the older daughter of the man who dies at the beginning of the episode because she was crap to be honest her acting was not the best neither was the younger daughter and they are the only aspect that i don't like about this episode but the thing is they are so heavily outweighed by everything that is good about this episode and it turns out that a few other people think this episode is scary too. Let's check out what people commented on in the last episode review. This one is from Shanish Stevenson, sorry if I said that wrong. Bloody Mary is one of, if not, the scariest episode of Supernatural ever. I remember the first time watching this when I was 10 and it, I got scared to go use the bathroom by myself at night with all the mirrors we had in the house. The many glasses they broke is definitely why they never seem to catch a break and also bad decision making. I don't think an episode like Bloody Mary would be as scary as it was back in season one if everything was so freaking bright and I miss how sh dark the show was. To be honest, I do too, like I said in the other episodes. There's also a meme going around. I tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. But the reason why that everything bad has happened to the Winchester brothers is because of all the marriage they broke in this episode. Got another one from Tia Patrick here. I really like the concept of Bloody Mary and how they would, how she would kill victims who have secrets that are related to the death of others. Whether or not it was really their fault, it started establishing the fact that ghosts are these creatures who live completely in black and white and who will go after anyone who even slightly fits the mode. It kind of reminds me of the British Men of Letters this season and how they'll kill anyone who gets into their way as well. I guess. That is true. Mind you. Bloody Mary is a hell of a lot scarier than the British Men of Letters. And one more from K. Scruton. In Bloody Mary, when the mirror is smashed, Mary starts crawling out of it. My friend screamed and covered her face. I burst out laughing because I was just waiting for her reaction. Also, when Sam and Dean broke into the store, they found the mirror. So why didn't they just take it somewhere with no reflective surfaces, then do it there? You know what? That is actually kind of true. That is true. But it also did lead to that awesome climax. Anyways, in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 7 out of 7. This is the first perfect episode I can think of. Sure, like I said, there's the acting issue, but really, this is one of the best episodes of Supernatural. I'm amazed at how much I like it watching it now. Anyway, guys, next episode is Skin. Now that is one of my favorite episodes ever of Supernatural. Please make a comment about what you liked about Skin, as well as the Bloody Mary episode as well. But let me know what you liked about Skin, what scared you, what you thought was really cool, and I'll try and talk about it in the next review. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this series. I really hope you're enjoying it. We'll can keep going on until I run out of stuff to talk about. Anyways, see you guys next time.